Hey, this is Rachel Bennett with Charles River Aquatic Swim Tips. Today we're going to be talking about hitting the line in breaststroke, and we're going to talk about shoulder flexibility for butterfly. Both of these things use the same group of muscles. When we're hitting the line in breaststroke, we want our ears to be right next to our biceps, full extension up here, and when we're swimming butterfly, we want the same thing. We want to press forward and get our arms nice and high over our heads so that we're uh, streamlined in the water. Jeff is going to demonstrate some butterfly for us, and what you'll notice is that his arms are going to come very close to his head when he's reaching out in the front of the strip. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, so his shoulders are getting above his ears when he's extending over the water. Beautiful, beautiful, Jeff. Can you show us the same thing with breaststroke? Just full extension out front. So here Jeff is hitting the line and his ears disappear underneath his deltoids. That position creates less drag and lets his kick propel him better. Now Jeff is going to demonstrate, or try to demonstrate, a lack of flexibility in the shoulders. So let's do butterfly first, just not reaching full extension. This is what we frequently see in level seven swimmers who don't have a lot of shoulder flexibility. Their heads are a little bit higher than they should be. And now let's see that with a uh, breaststroke. Yeah, so he's not tight out in the front. His arms are a little bit bent. That may seem like an elbow issue, but it is in fact a shoulder issue. Great. Nice, Jeff. So we're going to really quickly learn a very easy dynamic stretch. So Jeff can hop up. You're going to do the stretch with me. You can either do this in a resting position and just hold it for 30 seconds, or you can do it this way, which is a little bit more dynamic. So we're going to place our hands against the wall, just like this, yep. And it's like you're just going to lean forward, yeah. And then Matt, you can come around this way so you can actually see. But the goal here is to be able to see the ears, yep, right there. And this is a lot of flexibility. The arms to be as straight as possible, and you want to be able to see the ears press through. And so this is a static stretch, just holding this. We'll really like stretch out these muscles down to the lats. Um, you might feel this in your traps and your neck. Um, doing it in a dynamic way, Jeff, you're going to hold for like two seconds, and then come back up ten times. So this is another one. And then each time you press through, you should be able to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. This one is really good if your instructor is telling you um, get your head down when we're swimming breaststroke, or if your instructor is um, telling you the same thing in butterfly, or telling you that your arms are bent when you're hitting the line, or your arms are bent when you're hitting your entry for a uh, butterfly. Great job. How's that feel? Good. Nice. Hit and pull. Now Jeff is going to swim butterfly for us again, and then breaststroke for us again, just to just to reiterate that nice tight position that creates very little drag. Ready? Go ahead. Full extension. Nice long reach is really our goal. Beautiful. Yeah. Breaststroke. Really hitting the line. A nice flat body. Holding that glide in that tight position. Nice job. This is Rachel with Charles River Aquatic Swim Tips. Have fun swimming.